after this moment will never be hidden again because no one in Birmingham needs to hide. So, are we ready for the countdown? Yeah. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we just literally a few moments ago had the unveiling of the permanent memorial in Birmingham South Side to those who were lost to uh, AIDS and of course a memorial, permanent memorial to those continuing to live with HIV as well. This was a project that came off the back of It's a Sin. Gary, our co-founder and founder and artist, uh, was watching the programme like the rest of us and thought actually we should look to get a memorial off the ground to remember all of those people that we lost all those years ago uh, and those that have suffered, received stigma and are living with HIV today. And why not have a beautiful memorial here in the city? What we did basically was took the, the design of the ribbon and made it a heart shape so it represented Birmingham, the heart of England and also the love that Birmingham gives for people living with HIV. And so that's where the design is. And it's two of the ribbons supporting each other, almost like two figures hugging. One is the past, one is the future. One could be AIDS, one could be HIV. It's how you want to see it. And the simplicity of it, I think, is the beauty of it. More recently, as well as remembering those people who've died, it's also a day of celebration of those people who are living with HIV now and living full and healthy lives and, and also a time to really start addressing things like stigma that's associated with HIV. I hope the lasting legacy of this memorial is change and equality and as I said before you know we're not dying of HIV and AIDS now but we're dying from hate crimes we're being beaten up so this really needs to be a sign for change and hopefully even more equality in Birmingham.